big scrimmage before uh, we go get ready for West Coast. And next week we start getting into game preparation. And we're still about two weeks out. And uh, I just appreciate the Bucks for letting an officer come in and get our work in because it's been raining all week. And had a chance to talk to Brian and Jason as we were able to uh, get into communications where we could come in. And, and I really appreciate that. But uh, overall today was uh, a lot of plays and a lot of good plays. You know, but the thing we got to do is we have to uh, control our penalties. You know, we can't have the penalties we had. And that's what stopped the drive. I think one time we had three penalties in one drive that kept us out of the end zone. So it's uh, being undisciplined. And we just got to be a better disciplined football team. And when that happens, then we'll start moving together, playing together, and start coming together as a team. Did the penalties cut down from last weekend at all? Oh, they cut down from last weekend, but still, though, you, you just can't have the penalties we have. There's so many false starts, and you, you have three or four false starts, and you have a whole thing called it against a big play, get a pass interference, but you can't have those penalties. Coach, last Saturday you said this was a make or break week. Did you get accomplished what you needed to? Well, we did, but we just, the thing we have to do is, is we got to work around the weather. You know, I got a good day in on Monday, got a good day in on Tuesday, then Wednesday. You know, I had to take the guys, I brought them in, I had to take them back out, bring them in, bring them back out. And so that, that was what killed us on, uh, on Wednesday. But overall, though, with the way we worked those th those two days, and then Wavell gets some work in on Thursday. Coach, is it kind of a testament to how important getting the football center is done um, that you have to move practice to one buck place? Well, it's, it's just that you just miss out on so much work, and you, you sit there and you're trying to, it, 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 you got to gauge the times, and, and you have a schedule set, and it was tough for the, you. You hate it for our players because I may tell them one time, and then I had to call them back and say, "Hey, we can't come at this time because we got to come at this time because I think the storm is coming." So I think once we get that facility built, then we won't have to worry. Coach, there's a line in Independence Day where Will Smith flies the alien spacecraft for the first time. He said, "I got to get me one of these. Do you got to get one of these at South Florida?" Oh, we're gonna get us one. We, we, we'll eventually get us one. I, I, I remember that line, and, uh, <laughs> but uh, we, we're working to get it. And I know this, uh, the fundraising is going good, and we will continue. But uh, this does allow us to get our work in, and then we can get, you know, stay dry, get a number of plays in, which we did today. And it was really good work. Did, did uh, Jacquez Evans change positions? Jacquez did. Jacquez was uh, playing quarterback and then uh, moved him to wide receiver. So he's learning the position, but very athletic. He's going to be fine there. He just got to just continue to grow into it. As a number three guy stepped up like quarterback? Well, we're still working through with the quarterbacks. And we got to find us a number three. And we got two right now. So we just got to find one, one that will emerge. Is a starting lineup set in your mind, or is there a position where it's kind of open for two weeks to get Well, since we've been in it for two weeks, we should feel pretty good about the guys we have out there. And it is with the starters, when we call one group up, that group knows that they're the ones who goes out. But the good thing we have is we, it's a very competitive. It's good competition at wide receiver. It's good competition on defensive front. You know, offensive line is kind of set. You know, the running back position is set. The quarterback position is set. You know, even with the defensive backs, we got some guys that we can play with and move around. Coach, normally you don't want to see a wet track. Raymond James may be the best field in the NFL for the range. It doesn't affect you that much, does it? Well, we haven't had a chance to. You know, next week we're going to go into Raymond James, but you know, I, I just, I just hope I have good hot weather that night, a real steamy weather. <laughs> Work on those big guys from Wisconsin. I, I, I hope it can affect them a little. Is Horn starting to look like Horn again? Well, he's still, you know, we talking about an injury that happened in September, so he's, he's calling a lot of balls, and, and he's getting his feet underneath him, and he's just got to continue to work, and he'll, he'll get better. He'll, he'll be fine. Uh, how are the waiver situation with uh, KJ and uh, Trevor Williams? Well, right now, we haven't heard anything yet, so we're still waiting on that answer. And uh, Ryan Thaxon came in this week to start practicing, is that right? No, we, he just showed up uh, just the other day, so he hasn't been oh, yeah, practice yet. Yeah. Zion playing uh, safety or corner? Zion is a corner. Yeah. How's that transition? It's been good. Zion is athletic and he's got good size to him. So the transaction, transition from wide receiver to corner hasn't been uh, too big of a deal for him. Coach, if the weather doesn't want to cooperate next week, is this place an option maybe? Well, I, I don't know if they'll let us come in here because I know there's going to be a lot of fans coming in. We can't pack them all. 
I had seating on this side over here, I probably did with you. But <laughs> no, it's, but we, we may, uh, you know, who knows what the forecast is going to be, but we just got to get ready and prepare for sun or rain. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.